Pivley Jax, if you have kids, you know that diapers are very, very expensive. And you go through them, right? So one in three families need help affording diapers. News for Jax reporter Lena Pringle shows us what one local woman is doing to make a Positively Jax difference. What might it look like when a family can't afford the essential diapers that they need? And so there have been studies done by Huggies, who is a founding partner of the National Diaper Bank Network, that families who struggle to afford diapers will either reuse a dirty diaper or they'll just stretch the diapers longer, which of course can lead to serious health risks for the baby. Crystal Parks, the founder of Diaper Bank for Northeast Florida, says she created this bank because there was a need that wasn't being met in the community. What most people aren't aware of is that there are no government assisted programs to help cover the cost of diapers. So you can't use diapers with WIC nor SNAP benefits, which most people know as food stamps. Diapers aren't cheap. A box like this can cost anywhere from $25 to $30. Park says on average, a child can go through 2,900 diapers in a year, costing families about $100 per month per child. And this cost is even further strained during a pandemic. First did our distribution of October of 2020. So between the months of October and December of 2020, we distributed over 13,000 diapers to help over 540 babies here in Jacksonville. Um, starting January, um, last week we did a distribution and we did double our number. We distributed over 8,000 diapers. So just being um, new to distributing diapers almost immediately at the beginning of this year we're already seeing an increase in need the organization says the most requested diaper sizes are newborn four five six and pull-ups in all sizes however it accepts donations of diapers in all sizes and materials typically three to four thousand diapers are given out during each distribution for ways to donate volunteer or find out where the next diaper distribution will be you can head to this story on newsforjax.com in jacksonville lena pringle Channel 4, the local station.